I gotta speak. I got, I got a voice and I gotta speak. <laughs> so I'm fired up right now. I was talking and talking to one of my girls, professional football player I coached. And, and you know what, man? There's something I just realized is, is athletes, us athletes know a lot about overcoming adversity. You know what I'm saying? My first responder people, my people who, 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 who we, we all face challenges. Let's get that out of the way right now. We all face challenges. I don't care how poor you are. I don't care how rich you are. This is life, man. This is a journey of life. We all face adversity in one form or another. But the key is, how do you respond to it? How do you relate to the issue? You know what I'm saying? Let's not make the issue the issue. That's life, man. We're here to face the struggles, to grow. And what do you do when it's the fourth quarter and you're exhausted and you're bleeding and you're down six points? What are you going to do, man? You going to fucking play it safe and kick a field goal? Come on, man. Well, at least it was a close loss. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it, man. You got to be able to put a little bit of risk out there. You got to be willing to believe in yourself. It doesn't matter what the end result is. It matters how you show up. It matters how you play the game. How are you playing the game? How are you playing the game? Are you coming from fear? Are you coming from scarcity mentality? Are you coming from abundance with gratitude and making the most of it and just thriving? You, you know, come on, hey. Mono y mono, man. You're faced up with the guy across from you, the girl across from you, and, 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 and you're tired, they're tired, you're bleeding, they're bleeding. What are you gonna do? What do you, I don't give a shit, they're all American. I don't care what they did last week. It's right now, right here. What are you gonna do? And I recommend to those of you that uh, have judged athletes and that that sports is bad and the competitive is, is bad this is a moment to reflect in is it really is it really bad or is it a way that you related to it is it the way you related to feeling judged if you weren't good at it or if somebody didn't win because it's not about that it's about testing yourself mentally emotionally physically and when you got that all involved what are you going to do? How are you going to respond? Woo! Come on, baby. You got to get up and you got to get in there. I don't care. Strap your helmet on, baby. I don't care how far it got knocked out. Pick that shit up. Put it back on. Get back in the game. Get back in the game. Are you in the game right now? What kind of, what kind of quality of life are you living? Are you letting the circumstances dictate the quality of life you live? Trust me. Your happiness does not depend on your circumstances. Your happiness depends on how you relate to it and how you relate to yourself while going through those challenges. Right now is a beautiful opportunity for all of us to deepen in that. We all are getting triggered by fear. We're all getting triggered by, because, you know, hey, lives are at risk, no doubt. There's a lot of ridiculousness going on, a lot of manipulation. And we're sitting in that fear. We can't see that, man. You get blinded by the noise, man. You gotta calm down, become more of a neutral observer, observe what's going on. You gotta imagine like, you're up in that coach's booth, overlooking the field, right? I can't be up there emotional about the game. Believe me, I've done this. I love to be up in there. You get the whole bird's eye of everything that's going on. The offense, the defense, the sidelines, and the end. The circumstances of the game, the emotions of the game get to you, it's gonna cloud your judgment. It's gonna cloud your judgment. You gotta be able to sit up there and, and observe what's going on and then make decisions that it's in the highest good for all concerned. And that's all I'm suggesting right now, guys, is be willing to detach from uh, the emotional response to the things that are going on and to build a blame, clear mind, and look at the information, look at the facts of what is. And then really start finding new ways to relate to it. And do your best, man, do your best. And you know, the results are the results, man. You lose the game, 
You never really lose in the game. Especially in every defeat and every failure are the greatest opportunities for growth. So what are you gonna do? You can't lose unless you decide you lose. Trust me, we got this. Peace and love. Ha <laughs> ha!